Chief Minister Konrad Sangma today launched the e-proposal system and stated that the objective of the system in governance is to ensure that delivery mechanism improves at the grassroots level, reducing time and increasing efficiency to sanction various important projects. Additional Chief Secretary D.P. Walang, Principal Secretary Dr. Shakil P. Ahmad, Commissioner and Secretary Dr. Vijay Kumar, besides officers from NIC, Finance and Planning Departments were present at the launch. During the launch, the Chief Minister stated, and I quote, The challenge now will be to get everyone on board and provide training at all the levels which will happen in the next two to three months, unquote. He also stated that launching the e-proposal system in the 50th year of statehood sends a strong message of reform. The launch was also attended virtually by departments from other districts of the state. Former MLA from Raksam Grey constituency Limison D. Sangma today joined the National People's Party in the presence of NPP National President Konrad Sangma, Cabinet Ministers Nyom Halangdhar, MLA Esmatur Momin and other party leaders at the NPP office in Lashmer. Limison resigned from the Congress on Monday. Chief Minister Konrad Sangma today held a meeting to discuss the proposal to establish a biomedical waste management facility in Shillong. He also reviewed the progress of 38 Eklavia model residential school projects currently underway and tweeted that directions have been given to implement the projects in a time-bound manner. William Nagar MLA Marcus Marak today inspected the ongoing construction of a CC footpath come motorable road at Noggil Awe locality of William Nagar under the Special Rural Works Program scheme and tweeted that the construction is going well and as per the specifications given. A door-to-door -door mobilization drive was conducted in the presence of national team observers from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare at Dieng Paso. Ten beneficiaries received their COVID-19 vaccination, including one pregnant woman, in the presence of the national observers at Mau Kanu Dieng Paso. BSF Meghalaya today organized medical camps at Southwest Garo Hills and East Kasi Hills districts under its Civic Action Program in which medicines, sanitizers, face masks and other items were distributed to villagers. In the last 24 hours, Meghalaya recorded 158 new cases and 285 recoveries, taking the total active cases to 1,208. Four deaths have been recorded and the death toll stands at 1,552. Total confirmed cases are 92,521, of which 89,761 are recoveries.